transcript and the PDF transcript. Let's assume I was working through some modules and I was down here in module 12 and I went to the overview of the accounting cycle and in there I found some typos uh, in the text down here. Well, if I make changes here in the text, it would be nice to make sure that the Word document and the PDF of that Word document matched. So what you'd want to do is first download both of these files. Just click on them and download. I just save the file. The other one, you really don't have to save the PDF because you don't really change the PDF. You just create a new one. Um, but I'll save it anyway. So I, I save those in my downloads. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go and edit and you're going to highlight those words PDF. See how they're blue? That means they're hyperlinked. And you're just going to break the link. Okay, let's go ahead and save those changes. And we need to go back into where all the files are stored that these links go to. And uh, we're going to eliminate those files themselves. So let's go down into files. I'm going to send you this Excel file. What it is, it's all the content specifications. So as you can see, I was in uh, module 12 just now. So I'm going to go down to module 12. And you see every single topic is labeled with a unique identifier. So we were working on the overview of the accounting cycle. So its unique identifier is Q7 uh, Q6-1, which will help me uh, find that file in Canvas. So we're going to go down to the video transcripts doc. Make sure it's the transcripts. And we're going to find the file that was the old file. So moving down, there's my old file. I'm going to get rid of that old file. I'm also going to go and get rid of the old PDF. Here's the, move this down a little bit. There's the old PDF down here. So we're just getting rid of the old one that we haven't updated yet. You have to double click that. Go down to 6-1. We're going to get rid of that file. Okay, so now it's gone. And then what you do is you go and you open the doc, the Word document that you downloaded and make the appropriate changes. So let's say we open that. We're going to open that. We're going to make the changes, whatever they are. So often when you download from the internet, it asks you if you really want to enable editing because it could be viruses, so you can trust that there's no viruses on this, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so then you go and make your changes, whatever they are. Let's say I made these changes. You just type it in, and then you resave the file. Okay, I'm not going to leave these changes because I don't want anything changed on this file right now. Um, but anyway, you make the changes, you save the file again, my computer working faster, uh, I'd be able to show this faster. So you go ahead and save it with the same name in the same place, now that's been changed. And then you also want to save the PDF, so you can save this as a PDF file. You just go to your file save as and you change this, uh, the wording. Make sure you say this is the now the PDF one. And you hit this drop down list here. So you can see hit your drop down list. So you can choose PDF. And now it'll save it as a PDF and you save that. Okay, I'm going to overwrite it, that's fine. Okay, so what I've done is I've made changes to the Word document, made changes to the PDF document, and now they've been saved. And so I can close out Word and the PDF reader. So now that I've saved those, what I want to do is I want to go down to the folder in Canvas, which is a transcript PDF, and upload it. So we want to add file. And we're going to choose that PDF that we just created, and we're going to say, yep, upload that. And you'll see up here, it is uploading one file. So that's uploaded. Then we go to the transcripts, where they're all doc files. As you can see, there's no 6-1 here. 
because we deleted it and we're gonna upload another one you can drag and drop as well but I'm just gonna hit this add files and we're gonna upload that it says it's uploading it goes rather quickly I bet on campus you even go faster so now they've been uploaded so what we can do now is we can go back to the overview of the accounting cycle Oops. go back to the modules to get back to the overview of the accounting cycle Hello? Okay, so we go back to the module where uh, those files were, click on it, have to edit it, and as you can see, there's no link right that now to these two files. If there is, go ahead and hit this break link. But now we can highlight the transcript word, go to the files, we'll have to go down to the make sure you go to the video transcripts doc folder and we'll have to scroll down to find 6-1 which we barely uploaded and when you put your cursor over there and you see that link it should be good and you hit link and now you should see it's turned blue that means it's linked and we go to the transcript okay transcript PDF there we go we'll scroll down to find that And there it is, the link highlights, we click on that. There it is, looks like it's good. We hit save changes. And now the uh, Word and PDF files match what's going on down here. Now I don't need you to go and do that process for all the hyperlinking that you've done, only if there's like some bad grammatical errors. And, and honestly, if there's only like one letter or something in just a very minor thing I probably wouldn't even take the time to make the updates in the attached word and PDF files but if there's a several and you feel it's necessary then please that would be great or just let me know and I can do that part as well okay thanks Cody bye